Hello everyone, it's Double A here. Today I'm going to show you how to decode HD radio using a Windows computer and an RTL SDR USB stick. HD radio is the name for the digital audio broadcasting standard used mainly in the United States and a few other countries. The format uses OFDM carriers placed in the FM band. If an FM station decides to transmit in digital, its digital signal is located adjacent to its analog signal on the spectrum. In the first part of this video, I will demonstrate how to get your RTL SDR set up with the correct driver. If you've already done this, you can skip to the next chapter in this video. So first you want to click the link in the description to the RTLSDR.com quick start guide and scroll down to the SDR Sharp Setup Guide header. Under here, click the link to download the Microsoft .NET 5.0 32-bit redistributable. And uh, you might have to click to download manually. And save that installer to your downloads folder. Once it's finished downloading, you're going to want to run that installer. and click install. You might have to click yes to a confirmation prompt. And once it's done, you can close out. Next, you're going to want to install the AirSpy software to find a radio package. So click the link to go to airspy.com, click download, and you're going to want to download the software defined radio package and go ahead and just save that to your downloads folder next you're going to want to right click and extract all and you're going to want to double click install dash rtl sdr dot bat once that's finished you can just push any key and that will exit the command prompt window and next, within that same SDR Sharp folder, you're going to want to right-click zadig.exe and run as administrator. You might have to click yes to a confirmation prompt. Now, in here, you're going to want to click on options, check list all devices, and then uncheck ignore hubs or composite parents. And then click the drop-down and select bulk in interface, interface zero. Be very careful to ensure that you're selecting this option. And then you'll want to confirm that USB ID is what is displayed here. And next, you're going to want to click Install Driver. It might also say Replace Driver instead of Install Driver in case Windows automatically installed a different driver previously. Next, you're going to want to click the link to go to my Google Drive folder and right click on the NRSC 5-GUI 1.2.2 and click download. And you'll have to wait for Google Drive to zip the folder before it downloads to your computer. Alternatively, you can get this file from its original creator on GitHub. However, it is provided as a RAR file which Windows cannot extract without installing either WinRAR or 7-Zip. Once that's finished zipping, you can go ahead and save it to your Downloads folder. And open up your Downloads folder, right-click on the Zip folder, and Extract All, and click Extract. Now you're going to want to go back to my Google Drive folder and right click on mingwgetsetup.exe and click download. Uh, you might get a warning, click download anyway. And save that to your downloads folder. You can also get this from SourceForge, which I provide a link to that as well in the description. Either way, once that's downloaded, you're going to want to run mingwgetsetup.exe, click Install, Continue, and then click Continue again. Now, from the Installation Manager, 
we're going to want to mark four of these packages for installation. Right click on the developer tool, click mark for installation. And it might take a little while, but then a little error should appear. Also mark mingw32-base for installation, gcc-g++ for installation, and then msysbase here should also be marked for installation. Once these four are checked, click installation and apply changes and apply. When it's done, you can close. Now you're going to want to go back to the Google Drive folder linked in the description. Right click on libwinpthread-1.dll and click download. And save it to your downloads folder. Now you'll get a warning that uh, might harm your device. Just click the ellipsis and click keep. Now go to your downloads folder. Might have to refresh. Right click copy and paste it to c slash mingw slash bin. Now you're going to want to go to your control panel, system, advanced system settings, and environment variables. From here under system variables, double click on path, click new, and type in c colon backslash mingw backslash bin. And click OK. And OK again. And now we can go to the NRSC5 GUI folder we extracted and run NRSC5 GUI.exe and click Run Anyways. From here, now we can tune HD radio stations. So in this box, you can type the frequency you want to tune, and then the box on the right, which stream, that is HD1, HD2, HD3, etc., and click play to start playing the station. You can minimize out of the black command prompt window. And from here, we have uh, station information, the bit rate of the stream you're listening to, Depending on what the station is broadcasting, some additional info under the Info tab. Uh, these are the settings, so uh, you can adjust the gain. By default, it's set to Auto Gain, but to adjust the gain, uh, you have to stop the station you're listening to, and then you can uncheck Auto and manually enter a value there. Bookmark, so you, you can actually add like stations as presets. And then uh, some stations will broadcast traffic and weather info under the Maps tab. So let's try a different station, see what we get. And some stations do broadcast album art. Not too many of them do it. And also sometimes it takes a while for the album art to come in. And uh, this station actually happens to be broadcasting a traffic map, which is pretty neat. It's a very low res. Let's try another station, maybe one without music, so I won't have to silence it for copyright reasons. The new song. 80s and 90s, because I'm an 80s girl. 10, 8, 10. Q92, 9. And here's a sub-channel in HD3. For more information, visit cdc.gov slash COVID-19. This message brought to you by the National Association of Broadcasters and this station. And I did finally get some album art on 102.5, which was pretty cool. So that's how to decode HD radio on your Windows computer using an RTL SDR USB stick. I'd like to thank the developers of this software. I did not develop this software. Also, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see more RTL SDR USB content, please consider subscribing.